the bin, you'll notice that the text, frame, and script view uh, options are now moved to the top of the bin. That was a feature request because editors said naturally their eyes went to the top of things, so we moved it on top. But you'll also notice if I go in and start changing the size of this bin, watch what happens to the icons as they now collapse into a single button. Interesting, I mean, it's the little things again because what normally happened is you close your bin and if you wanted to go to a different view, you'd have to open up the bin again to select your option. Um, I have two bins, I have my clips and I have my rough sequences here. So again, you have your different views for your uh, bin uh, layout. You have your text view, you have your frame view, and you have your script view. Notice also, there now is a slider. So if you wanna change the size of your frame, you now have a little slider. Because everybody knows in Media Composer, how do you change the size? Control L, Command L, or how do you make it small? K for small. So, that's a, that's a joke, I won't take credit. Derek, who I used to work with, uh, says L for large, K for small. So, um, Command K, so now you have a little slider. And the reason, because everybody now knows if you're in photos or documents or anything, you have a slider to change the size. Again, trying to make it more intuitive for new editors. 